So these Dudios Shuttle headphones have a five star review on Amazon. They only cost $29 in the US. Are they any good? Let's find out. G'day guys, my name is Sean and today we're gonna be taking a look and an unboxing first impressions on the Dudios Shuttle wireless headphone. I've been working with Dudios for a while. I've reviewed a lot of their headphones, um, but this particular one I have not yet. So we're gonna be going ahead and doing a bit of a quick unboxing, then set up, and I'll give you my first impressions on whether or not you should go out and buy these headphones. If you do wanna win a pair of these headphones, I have a competition running. There's a link down in the description down below. If you found this helpful, go ahead and hit like, get subscribed so you don't miss out on any other future videos that we do this year, and let's begin. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the unboxing of the Dudios True Wireless Earbuds version 5. You can see on the packet here they are going for more of an AirPod-esque style of headphone this time, not a bud. Um, the case is obviously a charging case. And then we've got a bit of a description here, sound with substance. I think that's um, kind of their motto or their, their slogan. So True Wireless Earbuds version 5, touch control, 24 hours playback. Um, what does that say? Biological diaphragm auto pairing. So these are the model called the shuttle. Um, so we'll get these out of the box here. We'll see what we've got in the box. Got a little coupon, see what's next. 30% off your last order. So there's an email there you can contact if you wanna get another pair, you can send them an email and um, see what they've got to offer for you. Uh, warranty and service documentation. Um, charging tips if you're an influencer. So then we've also got the manual, which is very handy. Sometimes you might need to reset it or remember which control does what. So you've got the manual here as well. And then we'll get some packaging material. And then we've got the actual headphones themselves that come in this little bag. So we'll pull them out. And what do we've got? So a case that's probably a little bit bigger than your actual coin pocket in your jeans. Um, but for reference, for example, so here's an, an iPhone 11. Uh, I'll turn the screen off so you can actually see the difference. So iPhone 11 versus the headphones in my right hand. So not too small, but also not too big. I like that it's got this different shape here. Something interesting might slide in and out of the pocket a little bit easier. And then at the back of the charging case, we've got like a little micro USB there for charging as well. What else do we have in the box? more packaging foam and then uh, this should be hopefully the um, cable so we've got a micro usb cable for recharging the headphones get this out of the box as well so yeah standard usb to micro usb um, cable for charging so that will just go ahead and plug into your your pc or your little power brick that you might already have battery bank so that just simply goes straight in nothing too complex about that and then they also give you i thought some little ear tips yeah so normally they give you some different interchangeable ear tips so just depending on the size of ear you can go ahead and play around with you know the different ear tips to see which one fits best for you so we've got here probably this is the largest size try and get that in focus so that's the larger size and then you've got here a really small size as well and actually in the case is the headphones this lid i feel like is a bit flimsy i think maybe they could do a better job of that of that lid I don't know if maybe just mine, but seems to be quite flimsy, but the headphones is what we're all here for. So obviously with the headphones, they go in on the, um, you know, layout. So that way you can't really mess it up. And you've got a little contact there on each one to sort of charge the headphones up. The headphones themselves. So they do have a little wrapper here. So I'm just gonna peel this off. This is so that they don't charge while they're in shipping. So there's a little tab that I've just peeled off with my fingers. I don't know if you can see it in the, in the frame there, but that little tab I've just peeled off and I'll just peel off the other one as well. And now when we go ahead and put it back in the case, and already I've must mucked it up, I'll go ahead and put that back in. And you can now see that they're both charging. They've got little red LEDs there. Hopefully you can see that. But the 
Oh, geez, that lid's bad. Um, but that little red indicator tells you that they're charging. And then when you take them out, they'll auto pair to your phone, Samsung or iPhone or Google, HTC, whatever you might be using. Anything that has Bluetooth, you'll be able to pair these with. Um, and pretty simple. Um, the actual design of the headphone, you can see they've put a bit of thought into the ergonomics of the actual headphone as well. So we'll have to put those in and um, we'll go ahead and see how they actually sound. That's the, uh, the most important part. So that's the unboxing. Let's go through, go back to me now and we'll go through the pairing process. If you haven't actually used Dudios headphones before and you're wondering how the pairing process goes, I'm actually just gonna walk you through that now as well as it's the first time I'll be pairing these to my iPhone. So um, first of all, what we need to do is go into the settings of your phone. Um, if you're using an iPhone, this will be pretty easy to follow. If it's on Samsung or another brand, then you just have to sort of adapt these settings to your particular uh, model. So we'll go into the Bluetooth section. So now that it's got the other devices sort of searching um, for other devices, we'll grab the headphones, open them up. Whoops, did it the wrong way. Grab the headphone. Should be pretty straightforward. The right one goes in the right ear. The left one goes in the left ear. Okay, so I'm now getting a voice confirmation to say that they're in pairing mode. I actually heard them both um, I guess make this little audio chime to say that they're sort of now talking to each other. And we can see in the other devices, we've got Dudios Shuttle now appearing. So we'll go ahead and click Dudios Shuttle. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, so I just got a voice confirmation now to say connected. So let's play some music. So we'll open up music library, go to maybe Beats Radio. Playing, loading. I'm not hearing anything. <laughs> Try a different station. Oh, uh, you know why? Let me just go ahead and stop the screen recording. There we go. So if I stop the screen recording, the music automatically starts. That was my fault. So I'll start these from most, the lowest volume you can go. So this is like 10% right now. Vocals are clear. Bass is there, mids are there. There's actually a lot of noise isolation because they're in-ear headphones. I feel like I'm talking a lot louder than I probably am, but it blocks out a lot of background noise being in-ear headphones. So if that's something that you want, then great. If not, then um, maybe look elsewhere. But these headphones have been getting really positive reviews and we'll turn it up now to like 25% and see like at 25%, I feel like for me, that would be perfect. I don't think I would wanna turn it up much more than that to be honest with you. Now, if I'm in a noisy room, or a, I'm sorry, I'm outside in a noisy environment, then I'll obviously have to probably turn it up a little bit more, but inside in this little quiet room, absolutely perfectly fine. And they're not moving at all, like these things are like, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> I probably look like an idiot right now. But they sound really good. I'll turn it up a little bit more now. So now we're about 75% and I feel like I can't even hear myself. I'm apparently playing some hip hop, so there's a lot of bass there, but the vocals are still there. All right, 100%. 100% is banging. Oh, the bass. Okay, I lie, 100% is like, awesome. Man, they sound really good. I can't believe that these headphones only cost like $25 US, $40 in Australia. Okay, I've tried the Dudios 3 Mini, the Dudios Zeus, but these ones, the Shuttle, these are my favorite, easily. These will give you four hours of talk time they will take one and a half hours to charge. The case to recharge the case is two and a half hours. Um, and the case will recharge the headphones five times. So if you, I guess, think about five times, one and a half, oh sorry, four hours of talk time, you're gonna get up to 20 to 24 hours of 
of music playtime. So if you're going on a long flight, you might not even need to recharge these headphones for maybe a, a you know until the next day. Um, okay, so if we go ahead on the left headphone and hold for 1.5 seconds, it should go back to the start of the song. Yeah, it's done that. If we tap it twice, we'll get Siri. Siri works. If we tap it twice, it will skip to the next track on the right side. Oh, sorry, my bad. I couldn't read the symbol. Double tap twice pauses it, so that works. Um, it will also answer the phone call, hang up the phone call. 1.5 seconds on the right side. If we hold it down, we'll go to the next track. Yeah, works fine. And it'll also hang up a phone call if you're in a phone call. And then uh, two seconds, hold down, and that will, I think, recall the last phone. Is that what it says? Oh, it will switch between two calls. So if you've got someone on hold and you're talking to someone else and you want to switch back again, you can hold down two seconds on the right side and that will do that as well. So that's in the in the manual there. I don't know if you can guys you guys can see that at all. Let me just see if I can get that in focus. But um, that will come in the box. So these headphones are, are really good. It talks about repairing. If you need to repair them with a different phone or if maybe they lose their connection to each other, you can go ahead and do that. But these headphones, I have to say, I'm really, really impressed. For the price, um, I don't think you can get any better. So, like I said, if you want to win these headphones, there's a description down below. I think I'll be definitely using these headphones. Um, if you have any comments or questions about this video, let me know. Like it if you like this video. Dislike it if you didn't like this video. Get subscribed, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.